What's good everybody? It's your boy Bird back again for another video. And tonight we will be cooking buffalo chicken pasta. So, I already got my chicken cleaned out. I already got the water boiling. First thing first, we're going to go ahead and boil this pasta. Now that we got our pasta boiling, I'm about to go ahead and season this chicken with our New Orleans Cajun seasoning and slap your mama Cajun seasoning. Now that we got our chicken all nice and seasoned and whatnot, we're gonna go ahead and put these babies in the air fryer for 380 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, everybody, our pasta is done boiling. Our chicken is done cooking. So, the next step we're going to do, guys, after this, we're going to start making the magic. This right here, this precious moment is where the magic is going to happen. So, what we're going to do is, we're either going to use half a stick of butter, maybe the whole butter, you know. Let's use the whole thing. So, we're going to use a whole stick of butter. We're going to use that cream cheese right there. We're going to use that heavy ripping cream and that garlic powder. And we're going to start making our Alfredo. Okay, so we already got the pasta drain. Now, typically, especially if you saw my video on the Cajun pasta, what I typically do is, at this stage, I go ahead, you know, cut the chicken up, put it in the pasta. But... This pasta is going to be made a little bit differently than the Cajun pasta. Because in this step, we're going to go ahead and preheat this oven, y'all. That's right. This baby is going in the oven. So as soon as we go ahead and get that Alfredo uh, seasoning, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead, put that in the pasta. Put maybe a couple of pieces of this chicken. In this pasta, stir it up, add the Parmesan cheese, get a baking pan, and when I tell y'all the results of this gonna be is going to be good, y'all just going to have to sweet, see to the end how this going to look. So first thing first, let's preheat this oven to, I say about 350. Okay, everybody, as you can see. We got our butter boiling. The next step will be we're gonna add our heavy ripping cream. I hope that's not too much. You know, we black folk, we don't me do too much measuring, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I say that's about maybe a cup, maybe more, maybe less. So we got that in. Add a little bit of our garlic powder. <clears throat> we have a special guest, Mr. Parsley. Add that up in there. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand, y'all. I'm going to have to put this camera down, and I think I do. But I'm going to have to add the cream cheese. Now, the best thing to do, guys, when it comes to cream cheese, make sure that it is room temperature, and that way it's easier to melt. All right, we got our cream cheese in the mix. And now we're going to go ahead and let that come to a boil. And I'm going to show you guys what to do after that. Okay, everybody. Our Alfredo sauce is done boiling. We're going to add a little bit of chicken. And I'm trying to do this one-handed, y'all. Add a little bit of the chicken. We gotta do it like this, I suppose. And we're gonna add our buffalo sauce. If I get it focused. Now, as you guys know, I like my stuff a little bit on the hot side, but I'm not gonna add too much of this. I'm gonna try not to, at least. Maybe a little, but yep. I'm going to go ahead and stir all of that in. Yes, look at it. 
Looks so good, y'all. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna pour all of this over our pasta. All that, yeah. Pour all that goodness into that pasta. We're gonna go ahead and mix all that up, y'all. Matter of fact, let me just move this onto right here so you guys can see. Mm. Y'all, this smells so good. This might actually be my new favorite pasta to make. So, next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to do this off camera so you guys can see. We're going to go ahead and put this pasta, all this buffalo pasta goodness, put that. In this pan, add some more of them little chickens. And I probably should have cooked a little bit more because y'all know I love chicken. So, if you guys want to follow this recipe, definitely, depending on how much you love chicken, you can add more or you can, you know, keep it this way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this pasta in the pan, add that chicken, add our... Uh, Parmesan cheese and we're gonna pop this baby in the oven This is not all of the pasta. So I want to do half and half put half of the pasta in the pan Put some uh, Parmesan cheese on it over it rather Then we're gonna put the rest on top of that and put some more Parmesan cheese in it Now you don't necessarily have to use just Parmesan cheese. You guys can use like your favorite type cheese, you know cheddar you know, shredded, any kind of cheese you guys want to use is perfectly fine. Okay, so we're going to add the rest of our Parmesan cheese up in there. And y'all, this is so much harder to do with just, you know, one hand. <laughs> Wish my partner in crime could help me out with this. But it's all good. It's all good. We got this. <clears throat> so, as you guys can see, we're going to go ahead and add the cheese. going to add some more of this chicken. And like I said, y'all, and I wish I could do it now, but I can't. I wish I would have cooked more chicken. This is so unlike me because <laughs> I used to go crazy for chicken. This is called buffalo chicken pasta, and it's like not a whole lot of chicken. I'm so sad. I'm so disappointed, y'all. <laughs> but hey, know what to do next time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a little razzle-dazzle buffalo sauce. I don't mind the buffalo taste, you know. <clears throat> going to do it like that. And we're going to pop in the oven 350 for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Our pasta starting to look good, y'all. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go and let that uh, broil for a couple of minutes. And we're going to try to see how it tastes. I can tell you right now, the way that it smell, y'all, I'm too ready for this. Mm. So, what I did behind the... Uh, Behind the scenes, y'all, I added some more of that uh, New Orleans Cajun seasoning on top. Y'all, this looks so freaking good. Like, ooh, look good, smell good. I'm ready to sink my teeth into this. So, you know, we got to go ahead and see. Ooh, cheesy, 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 cheesy. Well, I could have went, you know, for another bag. But hey, this is like my first time making it. I'm very pleased with this, y'all. Like, I know some things I definitely do different, especially like add more chicken, uh, add more cheese. 
But this is the recipe, y'all. So I'm about to eat all of this <laughs> to myself. Well, maybe not. Probably uh, give some of this away because I know I can't kill this all by myself. <sighs> but um, that's the recipe. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until we meet again, deuces.